Hello and welcome to this video where you are going to see the correlation detail features of the McAfee SIM. In the McAfee SIM version 9.4, you can see details about what caused an incident to trigger. This information will help you understand what is going on and help you tune your rules better. Let's see an example. Let's take a look at our standard ESM incident dashboard. One incident that catches our attention is the successful brute force attack, and we want to investigate this incident further and understand exactly what happened. First, we are going to filter to that specific incident by clicking on it. The whole dashboard refreshes with only the information relevant to that incident. Now I want to know why this rule triggered. In the event pane, you can see the correlated events that made up this incident. That is great information, but it's not telling me the logical reason why the rule triggered. In order to find out, we are going to use the new correlation detail feature of the 9.4 version. So let's expand the event pane to have a better view. For that, we will click on the expand icon at the top right corner of the event pane. Now let's select one event to see all of its details. Notice the correlation detail tab. This is new in 9.4. If we click on it, we can now see why the rule triggered. We can see that the SIM saw 20 failed logins followed by a successful login, all of those happening in less than 5 minutes. Also, notice the plus sign next to the incident. If you expand it, you can see the details of each of the 21 events that made up this single incident. And you can see, by scrolling down those events, that those logins happen from the same IP address using a different username each time until the login was successful. You even see the name of the account that was compromised. Thanks to the new correlation detail features, we are able to determine exactly what happened in seconds now let's take a quick look at where the configuration of this new feature resides. For that, click on the correlation icon in the top right corner of the console. The policy editor opens. Click in the detail column for the rule that you want to gather details for. You can see that there are two gathering modes to choose from, on-demand and real-time. In the on-demand mode, information about the events that triggered the correlation rules will be gathered at the time you request the details. The on-demand mode is enabled by default. In the real-time mode, information about the event is gathered immediately after the rule is triggered. This makes real-time a better mode for rules that use dynamic watch lists or other values that changed often. But keep in mind that this mode comes with a bigger overhead on the ESM component, so use it only when you need it. In our example, we have only selected one rule but you can select multiple rules at a time by using control click to select discontinuously or using shift click to select contiguous rules. You can also see the details for all rules that trigger in one place. For that, let's close the policy editor and in the system navigation tree, expand the ACE device. Click rule correlation under the ACE device. Select the event view, event analysis, and the event analysis view opens. Click on the events you want to view. Here you can scroll down your events and by clicking on the correlation details tab, see why those rules triggered. It would also be very useful to find out what else happened around the same time. That would help me get a complete picture. 9.4 can answer this question with a new feature called Look Around. To know what happened around an event, click the drop down menu at the top left corner of the All Events pane and select Look Around. The Look Around window opens. You can choose the time you want to look around for. You can filter based on the field of your choice. In our case, we're going to filter based on the source IP because we want to know what else that system did within 5 minutes of our event. And we can see very quickly that this IP address has been up to no good as it's involved in many other suspicious activities. Some of our next steps could be to open a case and have someone investigate further or blacklist that IP address from communicating with the rest of our network, which we could do directly from the SIM console if we were using the McAfee IPS product. So we've seen how the correlation details in the McAfee SIM 9.4 helps investigate incidents faster. That feature can also help understand how rules work and to fine-tune them according to your needs. And finally, you saw how the look-around feature complements the correlation details by showing you the events that took place around the same time as the events that you're investigating. Thank you for watching.